the queen of speed and eye patches is here. Welcome to the show, Zaza. Hi, guys. I'm so Hello. happy. Hello. We are so happy to have you. Although we are upset that you were that you left the show immediately, Stephen and I were like, we get to talk to Zaza. We get to talk to Zaza. <laughs> Was silver the, lining yes that was the only silver lining honestly i was just like oh no oh no i'm like oh interview opportunity great <laughs> oh no but wait hello <laughs> exactly and we, we have this? tons of tons of questions that we want to ask yeah. you but we have to start with the most important now you have to give me a second because i have to prepare we have to prepare oh my god guys why didn't you tell me we have to prepare <laughs> We Excuse have to me prepare. for a moment. Oh, oh, oh. We have to prepare. They're on. Oh, there she's in. She's getting him on. She's getting him on. Oh. Zaza, what was going on with the eye patches this season? Are you sponsored? Who is behind this? Please tell us what's going on. I wish I was sponsored. You know what? I just look like a zero out of 10 most days when I wasn't competing. And I was like, you know what? I've got to do a little bit of self-care. So in the downtime, like... I was like, why don't I just treat it like my regular life? I love getting pampered. So I brought like 100 packs of eye patches with me because I planned on staying to the final. And then I kind of swapped them. I was like, ooh, who wants to be friends with me? You want some eye patches? That's smart. So you used it as gameplay. I like this. Hey, I always bring extra protein bars, eye patches, you know? Genius. Then someone might feel bad saying your name. I'm like, do you remember that one time I gave you those eye patches? Yeah, you're a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you didn't give James enough. We'll say that. No, no he needs more. I think he put them right over his eyes. That's the problem with James. Well, his eyes were somewhere else. Let's be honest. Here. <laughs> let's I mean, be wrong about that's, that one. That's very true. I mean, you had a you had a great speech there heading into that elimination, talking about how he had no balls. <laughs> this was awful from him. You're unfollowing. And l listen, we don't want to call you out. You're still yeah. following him. You're still okay, following. This is something recent, by the way. This is a recent thing because there was the reunion. And I don't like any bad blood. But let me just tell you, I will never forget. I know what type of person he is. I am very aware. But I'm also, I'm not a hater. Just because someone else is like that doesn't mean I have to be like that. But in that oh moment, God. I was very fucking heated. And I was like, you're a piece of shit. Go die in hell. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm like, did I really say that? I was like, oopsie, that wasn't me. I love it. I want the whole unedited version because I know you were up there spitting facts for at least five minutes. Thanks, Mar Mariah's full chihuahua. <laughs> That's oh, great. I love it. Absolutely well, great. I want to talk about the elimination a little bit. Um, it sucked to see you in there. Everybody was sad. I know Twitter was all like, gosh, really? These three are in elimination? Come no, on. But I didn't have Twitter. Oh, it's you don't? Thing. Well, honestly, it's probably yeah. for your best. That's probably yeah. why you're so happy all the time. Um, I feel like it, yeah, I saw some negativity and I was like, oh, no, I'll probably cry. <laughs> I don't know how anyone could dislike you. Some negativity? <laughs> uh, that's that's basically all it is. So, Well, I'm happy over here. <laughs> Stay happy over there. <laughs> well, I, I need to talk about the wall scale. So you decided eventually because of the mud to kick your shoes off and scale that wall. And girl, I was on my feet watching you do it. Uh, and TJ was cheering you on. How did it feel to have Mr. TJ cheer you on like that? Because he really, honestly, he's normally very quiet and lets things happen. With TJ's support, it really gave me that extra emphasis and oomph and I had to do it. He was watching. I mean, I couldn't be a pussy on, on global television as well. But no, just like, be me being myself I always have to finish what I start so I think that's also what was so like disheartening um and I haven't really done many challenges before I didn't even know what the challenge was until like a year ago so doing all of these obstacles and knowing what to do first and having that sort of strategy is definitely something that I'm learning on the way um and it was yeah a total rookie mistake of going in the mud um and I just I thought like I think they, I am working with them and they are my friends, but I've also just been betrayed by James. And I was kind of like, well, if they are helping each other, that's fine because they came in the house together. They don't owe me anything. Um, but I just don't want to be around to see it because I'm already depressed. I was just like, right, let me just go do my thing and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. Like well for me. <laughs> it was impressive though, girl. Like you should be so proud of yourself at how you hung in there with them. You were neck and neck with them. I feel like if you had a bit more skill in the Sudoku world, we wouldn't have seen um, you go. That was also my first time doing a Sudoku. Oh um, gosh. 
Well, and then. <laughs> seems, seems to be a trend on this show in the past few years. I was counting like this. I was like, 40 people. It said, add everything up to 45. So I was like, oh, well, thank God I got the rules. But I was like, not the quickest. <laughs> Sudoku's hard. you got to be able to do it a few times to really get the hang of it, honestly. Yeah, there's some tips and tricks to it. Um, and honestly, them just saying each row needs to add up to 45 is probably not the best thing to, to say. It's just like each box and each line needs to have one through nine. That's the better way of describing it. So. Yeah. Oh, I've got a whole book now. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, they're not getting you on the like Sudoku. One and I was like, this is supposed to be the easy one. Maybe I'm just <laughs> stupid. Um, well, first of all, I just want to say that, that that was very impressive to watch. I don't think my body has ever moved into those <laughs> positions that you were on the wall. I feel like you could have licked your knee. And I, I do, I was like this. <laughs> Spider monkey. I think I tore my ACL just watching you do that at that point. That was, a, I was just like, get, I was, I'm, I was screaming just like mixing. I'm like, get over that fucking wall, girl. And then you got over and I was like, my God. It was like watching my knee. daughter. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so happy for her. I literally had a knee injury afterwards, so I was kind of like, thank God. I was like, it's time to recover now. Yeah, yeah. Much needed rest, deserved. Yeah, because you, you had done kind of three of these within, what, like a year, it almost seems like, right? Yeah, Between... exactly. I did the UK one, which was two weeks, so it was kind of like a watered-down version, a little taste of what the challenge was and yeah. I absolutely loved it. Would you, went, would you say it's like diet challenge? Diet challenge, definitely. Okay. Like, <laughs> zero carbs vibes. <laughs> we, we have coined that term. We have coined the term yes. diet challenge. Diet challenge. It was a diet challenge. And you know what? I'll go and I'll eat it all up if there was another one because <laughs> now I'm, I feel very experienced. <laughs> they were showing up. Oh, God, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> then I went on to the World Championships and I met Wes and he was honestly the best mentor. Um, it was very short lived. As you know, we also made a mistake. You never know what's going to happen in the challenge. And uh, the maths, now the maths get you. But before that, it was we should have just drunk the smoothie. You should have drunk the smoothie. Even in elimination, if we drunk the smoothie. So um, you literally have to treat everything as if it's your last time you're going to be on there but when you're in there you do get a little bit comfortable especially if you have an off day or something and you're feeling good and you're coming off a win and you're feeling high and then you're like oh god damn I'm in the set how did this happen yeah <laughs> and then yeah 39 yeah what what would you say is something that you know in a moment where you and Wes were hanging out did do you find I mean you said like he was a mentor to you yeah. I feel like when he finds somebody that he likes and then he thinks would be good at this, was there any like thing that he kind of like told you about, you know, here's how this is going to go. Here's some like tips and tricks of the trade that I've been able to figure out um, that he kind of like pushed you on your way with, like sit you so down the we river. We did have a chat, but because I know people are going to be watching, I don't want to help anyone else's game. <laughs> Big brain. See, that right there is a West move. That I'm is a West so move. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I told Wes he should start up um, West Training School. I was like, but you're not allowed any more members because otherwise <laughs> they're going <laughs> to. But there was, was there stuff that you learned from Wes that you couldn't really apply in World Championship, but you kind of took into this season? So, okay, I'll say something. Like, because I didn't really have an alliance going in. It was a mm -hmm. very loose tide. I knew the UK people for like a minute. Um, never met Big T, never met Melissa. Um, so when people say, oh, you're in the UK Alliance and they put you in a group, I'm like, I'm actually not with them. I go with people I trust and I think trust is earned. And so when everyone was trying to like categorize me, I was like, they're saying they're by themselves. I'm like, I'm literally alone. And Callum left, Kieran left. I really got on with him. Then I was like, shit, I've got Mariah and James, but they're just backstabbing me. So I have no one. Um, so I totally lost where I was going with this. Oh, yeah. So Wes told me, um, don't like go in a room with a lot of people, you know, don't hide because then you're always in conversation. You can listen. You can know what's going on. Um, I'm a person. If you don't want to talk to me, I'm like, don't talk to me. I don't want to ever put myself in the middle of anything. I'm not that kind of look at me. I'm the camera girl. No, I'm like, ew. <laughs> go away. You can see my face in so many scenes. I'm unimpressed. I'm like, that's my resting bitch face. I'm like, <laughs> what are they talking about? That's some good Wes advice. That's some good Wes advice. He, that's that's well, honestly really smart. Yeah. No, 
And then, um, but then um, I was in a room with Nuris and Raven, and now they're like two really good friends of mine. So it was it was very good advice. What can we expect to see from you in the future? Because I, we Winning. don't. Yeah, well, obviously, we want to see that happening. But I, I don't think I, we don't usually say this about people who come on the show in like their first or second season. But I we feel like you're built for this show. Like this is like your thing now. And I Absolutely. think you're I very you entertaining on the show. Oh, uh, I felt like I wasn't I, I wasn't entertaining because I'm not in the drama and I no. don't like to get, you know, too involved in that because I'm like, oh, it's just a waste of my energy when I could be using the energy to compete and sleep. And exactly. Work. And that's why you're built for this show, that you're exactly <laughs> explaining what we're saying. But I love this show. I never realized I cared about something so much until I was put in it. Like, it, So what you're saying to me is music to my ears because I really do want to be the best version of myself, like everybody does. But this gives you the opportunity, especially like physically and mentally. And I've struggled a lot like through my life with dyslexia, with like, with not so much reading and writing, but just a lot of numbers. So it's like, I can brain train that. I know kind of the tools, I'm given the tools. And if I don't do it, then that's just on me. I'm just a lazy fuck. But um, <laughs> to add it into my daily routine and do things like that, it's e very e much easier said than done, but it's makes me want to be like a better version of myself. So I'm like, thank you, Challenge, you've given me a purpose. <laughs> we definitely want you on more seasons. Again, we said you we're built for that and we don't throw that around lightly. And you seem like you enjoy it and you compete. And I think historical long-term fans of this show want to see people compete they would like less of the drama there's a difference between being in drama to get screen time and drama because you feel like you're getting backstabbed and that's going to hurt your game yeah exactly and i felt there was a lot of unnecessary things in the beginning like uh little did everybody know before you were from oh sorry you probably realized later on i appeared more in the show because in the beginning of the show i was hiding in my room crying i was like oh my god maybe this show isn't for me i was like i'm not that out there i am outgoing but i'm not like oh i can i'm gonna go twerking and get with guys in hot tubs i'm like in a faithful relationship so i'm just gonna go to my bed and cry so i was a bit like my dad my dad used to joke with me he's like so are you going to be in this episode? Shall I watch it? Is it worth watching? And I'm like, Dad, <laughs> even if I'm in it for 10 seconds, you have to watch. <laughs> That's a great point. Uh, you, gotta you, you, you are a killer in those 10 seconds. Whenever they give us some Zaza, we are happy. Hey, I'm so happy. You said that. Thank you, guys. It's just it's it's a burst of energy on the screen as well, like just just the constant energy and seeing you like kick a kick a boxing bag. I'm like, oh, my God, Jesus Christ. Sometimes. <laughs> Uh, oh no! I do my own stunts. <laughs> How did that happen? That was in Paris at the Louvre, and I was trying to do a what? I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to do this. Oh, jump. I saw that, <laughs> like a box it? jump. And I was like, I was looking at the camera, and I had my handbag on me, and I was like trying to look cute, and then I like face planted, and my boyfriend was like, "Shit, Zara!" He's like, "I never have to worry about you," and I was like, "Oh no, this is really embarrassing. I can't upload that, can I?" And I was like. Fuck it. Everybody has their bad days. <laughs> and look, she has a bad day and she's smiling and laughing. So this should be just a way for all the people who are watching yes. this and listening to the <laughs> number one to just know even our girl Zaza has days like this and you can still be happy. Like you this. can still be happy. Last thing I want to know, my dad uh, from England, uh, do you dip your biscuit in the tea or do you have it separately? I... Oh. I dip it in the tea. I always got dip it. it in the tea. One, two, three. <laughs> you got a timer. You can't let it get too soggy. It's that not, is it true. It will cool in and then it would just ruin. It would just ruin the tea, and you'll get all these little floaty biscuit things. Yes. Yeah. A professional in every sense yes. of her life. We yes. absolutely love you, Zaza. Thank you so much <laughs> for spending time with us. Oh. oh, thank you for having me. I honestly had so much fun in this. My cheeks are hurting. <laughs> Us here, too. Us here, too. Oh. Not a boring interview. We never do a boring interview. Always bringing the heat here on the number one. <laughs> we will see you next season. We I will. know it for a fact. We will. We don't know for a fact, but we no, know for a fact. I know it in my heart. It's a fact. Yeah. Right here. Oh, right here. I hope so. I hope and if, so. And if, like, just, just if next season that you may or may not happen to be on, if there happens to be some eye patches on at some point, we know it's for us. 
It's for you guys. It will be for you guys. Get him back on. Thank you, Zaza. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>